Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you my uh, military man cave of, I guess, 2021 now. Um, I actually didn't make one in 2020. Uh, it's been a little over a year since my last one towards the end of 2019. And uh, those of you guys have been following me know I'm always adding to my collection. I'm always moving stuff around, doing different things. And uh, I've been putting this video off for a while because I wanted to get my room just right. And, you know, I've been working at it and everything, and I finally got to the point where, you know what, my ne my room's never going to be as I want it, 100% or perfect, because I'm, I'm going to continue to add to my collection and move stuff around. And so, uh, I'm going to show you guys today how it looks as of now. Uh, some things, you know, aren't quite complete, but, I mean, it's, it's getting where I want it to be as of now. But, uh, just like I said, as I add more things, I have to do more moving around and come up with different ideas to display everything. I uh, hope you guys had a great uh, Christmas and New Year's. Um, those of you that are uh, prayers like me, hopefully, you know, we pray for hopefully a better year this year than last year in more ways than one. I uh, hope you and your families are doing well. And uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully a good year for me making videos. Last year, I kind of dipped down quite a bit from the normal amount of videos I make. But uh, hopefully this year things will turn around. You know, only time will tell. Appreciate you guys that are already subscribed to me. And uh, if you're watching right now and you haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did. Uh, you know, and hit the like button, the notification, and uh, give me comments and everything. Share my videos. I really appreciate it a lot. But uh, I'm going to stop talking now. And I know you guys have been waiting a while on this, so uh, I'm going to show you my man cave. So here we go. All right, so just behind this door is my military man cave. I hope you guys like it. Hold the door and turn the light on. This is my military man. Oh, uh oh, wrong room. This is my youngest daughter's room. My bad. Down the hall. All right, guys. So for real, this actually is my military man cave, and I hope you like it. Like I mentioned, still work in progress. It always has been and always will be but uh, i'm working to get everything labeled um you know i like to label stuff just with a description of what everything is um you know god forbid when i die or if i died my wife and family would have some kind of idea about what i what the items are and what i paid for them and everything but you know got some flak helmets and different things here set up navy talker helmet still working on these mannequin heads and stuff right through here um got my uniforms See, I got a lot of them. I couldn't even tell you how many I have, but I actually ran out of room. You know, I built this pipe shelf uh, probably two years ago now. Some little idea I had, and it actually worked out, so I'm happy with that. Got uh, some double buckle combat boots and uh, shoe packs and rough outs, boondockers, different things right there. Got my medals right here. Still working on that display right there. Right under here, I got so many mess kits and stuff. These are my DVDs. Uh, all these are war movies. Um, right in this corner here, I've got some pictures of my grandfather. Uh, those of you who don't know, he was a Marine in the Korean War, fought in a lot of the major battles, including the Chosen Reservoir. Um, so that's kind of like, a, I guess, a memorial corner to him. Um, got some other pictures here of stuff I picked up along the way. Got my World War II veteran friend. 9th Armored Division. He uh, is 98 years old, be 99 this year. Uh, Mr. Larry gave me this picture here of his family member there. But um, most of you guys know I love helmets. I got helmets all the way along the top of the room here. And um, I couldn't even tell you how many helmets I have. I know I, somewhere around 130. I'd say between like 128 and 132. Uh, I think out of all of those, about 80 of them are world war ii m1 helmets i'm getting into my world war ii m1 helmet wall here i'll kind of slow down a little bit and kind of pay in i'm still working on labels you see some of them are crooked and stuff you know i'm ocd so like again it took me a while to make this video but lots of m1 helmets absolutely love them they're so iconic you know and i just love them so much again i think i've got like 80 but um most of them are records i think i got about 15 Schluters and like 60 or 60 something McCords, but can never have enough helmets. Right here, I got just some stuff I kind of displayed on the wall. Um, I believe I have like 82 or 83 canteens. 
You see there, just all different types of canteens. Never have enough of them, you know, I just, I keep finding them for such, like, little or nothing, so I just feel like I have to buy them and almost rescue them from antique store or flea market or whatever else, but just love them, you know. Um, these foot lockers here have some gear and different stuff in there. Um, these 303 crates here actually have ammo in them. These are actually empty, but love ammo boxes as well. Right here is kind of my ammo box corner, I guess. Um, most of these, you know, have ammo in them. Some of them are just like cases because I always pick up my brass when I shoot and save them just because, even though I don't reload, maybe one day, but I like to um, pick them up anyways. Most of the cans I got labeled with the caliber what's in there. A few of them I still got a label, but anyways, I'll get around to it. Nice uh, gift there from Mr. Uh, Norman. Right up here, just some stuff I'm kind of working with. Uh, in here, obviously, is a gun safe, so I got my guns in there. And I made a, a whole gun collection video, I think it was around April of last year. It's been about nine months. And uh, I've added a few more, which those of you guys that watch my CMP video, I added three rifles. So if you haven't already, take a look at the CMP unboxing video and the CMP experience video. And I hope to visit them again soon this year, maybe the next two, three months. But uh, in the future, I might do another whole uh, gun collection. But for now, I'm not necessarily going to open this up and show you guys. But try not to make this too lengthy of a video. But I love my American flags. I don't know if you've noticed, just from me panning the room, I don't know how many I got on the walls or the folded uh, flags. But I absolutely love this country. I'm very patriotic. And, um, you know, I thank God that... Um, you know, I'm able to live in this country. It's a, you know, a free country and everything else. And I know there's a lot going on in the world right now. And I'm hoping and praying for peace. But, you know, only time will tell with certain things. Some things, it seems, are just inevitable. But I'll show you my display case here. Um, I got some stuff there on top. That's my grandparents. You know, uh, Iwo Jima flag raising. That's my favorite Pacific Theater battle. That's right there. Just really cool little Vietnam. Um display there or um decorative picture there got some ordnance quite a bit of ordnance in uh in this display case this right here is a bandolier with world war one ammo um got a bunch of you know different calibers and from different countries a lot of 50 caliber a lot of 20 millimeter uh some of these are live some you can see have been drilled out but got some grenades over there and different things got some purple hearts uh, just a bunch of random stuff, binoculars and different things right through here. Bottom shelf here, I got my bayonets and some knives and different things. Here's my dog in the way. Ooh, scrounge. Tail, big old tail in the way. But I'm uh, still trying to work through this. But uh, that's actually not a real German Luger. It's a cast, like a, uh, uh, you know, movie prop or whatever. But, but yeah, I got that light in there. I'm all about lighting things up, you know. I'm all about, you know, displaying things, and again, being OCD, I want things to be organized as much as possible and, and look good. Right over here, this is actually my military book collection. I've read all of these, and uh, actually, in two, the bottom of these two footlockers behind those ammo boxes are full of books. I probably got 80 books I haven't even read, but anyways, again, I don't want to make this just too lengthy of a video, but I'll just kind of pan the room again. Um... You know, really, the way I've got my helmet set up is uh, it kind of starts in this corner here, really. You know, World War One, and then it rolls over into, you know, World War Two M1s, starting with the earliest ones. They're actually in order by production date. And again, it's around about, you know, within maybe a month or two of when they're made, going by, the, you know, the heat stamp or lot of steel or heat lot. I know there's a lot of... Uh, you know, different information about that, and nothing's really set in stone. There's just, you know, different characteristics. You can even, you know, look at a helmet and judge roughly when it was made. So, you know, the charts that's available, especially the one for M1 McCords, uh, are not necessarily, you know, set in stone by any means. It's just kind of more of a guide or a reference. But just kind of panning the room here, and I uh, appreciate you guys that are still watching with me. And I know some of you guys might be bummed out about the gun safe. But uh, here, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and show you. So, 
again i might make a whole video before long and i'm still trying to work on a light setup here but i got this goofy light here in my hand but Mosin and the Gants, British Enfields, M1 Grand, uh, Japanese Rifles, M1 Carbines, uh, Italian Carcano, German K98, a bunch of Russian, uh, uh, you know, Nagants Carbines and different things. Got a Krag Rifle, um, just different stuff in there. Got a Nagant Pistol, Model 1898. Got a springfield uh 1911 made in 1914 all original and those you guys uh, might not know this but you know the springfield world war ones are, are pretty rare because they made less than 26,000 of them is my understanding during world war one so this is one of less than 26,000 all original including the barrel so thankful to have that in the collection and again honestly guys i've only got two handguns i, I got all these rifles and two handguns i'm just so picky about you know handguns and rifles are just seem for me to be so much cheaper to pick up which again prices are going up and everything else but anyways guys i uh, hope you like this video uh, again this is just the first of hopefully many this year if everything works out so y'all if you're if you're the praying type be in prayer with me about what's going on not only in this country but worldwide there's a lot of evil in the world and a lot of different things that are shifting around and taking place but Hopefully, you know, it's another good collecting year for myself and you guys as well. Y'all keep making videos and keep putting them out there. Uh, you know, don't be embarrassed or shy about making a video showing your collection, you know. Just if you're passionate about it and you love it, you know, keep on doing it. You know, just remember to have fun along the way. It's all about having fun, preserving history, and, uh, you know, doing our part, you know, to keep history alive so it's not forgotten. But... Hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. I actually vacuumed the carpet because I knew you guys would be in here with me today. And that's my dog, Mud. M-U-D-D. -D. See, she just turned her head when I said that. But she uh, she's about five and a half months old. We've had her for about three and a half months. But Mud, what are you doing? Are you going to collect military stuff? You going to collect military stuff? Maybe. Anyways, guys, God bless all of you. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Be getting back to you soon. Thank you.